Nearly a month has passed, but it is back to business in the Champions League as the qualifying stages are just around the corner. And you know what that means. Prediction video! That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time, we're going back to club football again as the Champions League qualifying is just around the corner. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button to get you bang up to date with all things Champions League related, Black and Rose related, World Football related. We're going to all here under one roof. Yes, folks, uh, obviously we did predict the Champions League last time out, um, but we kind of did it a bit sloppily, a bit haphazardly. We didn't cover the qualifying, that's it. So uh, we're here for each and every one of the games. We are ex we did exclude the first three qualifiers, which basically completed the, the teams that make up the official qualifying. So we did miss those three, but uh, it, there wouldn't have been, there was, there was two matches, and then another match. It, did, it couldn't make a show out of it, but we can make a show out of this one, bad boys. So let's get cracking and have a little look. Okay, folks, here we go. So these games, the opening games of the Champions League will take place on the 9th and the 10th of July, the first legs anyway. The second legs will be back on the 16th and the 17th. Um, but so let's take a little look at those uh, the clubs that made it through. These are the the uh, the breakdown before the draw, the, you know, the kind of grouping off some, 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 uh, some of the, the heavyweights to try and at least make it a little bit even to go through. Uh, anyway, some key uh, see key clubs for me in these groups include uh, Red Star Belgrade. I expect them to to be very fierce in this and get themselves through to the actual group stages. Alongside them, uh, CFR Cluj. They've been knocking on the door for the past few years as well. Alongside them in the next group, we have Celtic, of course. Um, big powerhouse out of Scotland. And again, they've not made the, you know, uh, they, they, they should reach the group stages, but they've got a difficult tie um, up against these bad boys, Sarajevo. So one of one of these two will make it through to the next round. Uh, but one of them will be going into the Europa League. That's right. They'll drop out of this and they'll end up in the uh, Europa League third qualifying round. And into the group three, we have Rosenberg. Again, powerhouse out in Norway. Uh, and alongside them, we have Piast Gliwicki, who is a Polish uh, team. So there are some some heavy hitters in there, and there's some other ones as well. And I'm just I'm just scratching the surface here, boys. Um, so let's take a look at the lineups. Here we go. Now again, these games take place on the 9th and 10th of July. Second leg, 16th, 17th of July. And again, the loser will fall into the Europa League um, third qualifying. Sorry, the second qualifying round. But these are the matches that will make up the first qualifying round for the 2019-2020 Champions League. Now, it begins here, folks, but it's going to end in Istanbul, Turkey for the final all the way uh, end, end of May, beginning of June. Something like that. I don't have the date in front of me. But anyway, let's get kick it off with Nombi Kalju. They are from Estonia and they're going to be taking on Skrichenja. Again, I'm going to be butchering these names from Macedonia. So, yeah, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know a lot about these clubs. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fool you, but I'm going to go with Stigenja on this one. Uh, I suspect. Uh, so, Nomanja Kelju with a nil, uh, Skigenja with a two. So that'd be the first leg. Obviously, they're going to have to do duke it out again on the 16th of July for the second leg. Um, and once I've done this video, when we do this, the second leg on the around about the the 10th, 11th of, of July, we'll take a look at the results on the first leg and see how many I got right and how many I got wrong. Next up, we have. Sadova. Uh, they are from uh, they are from Lithuania. Up against Red Star Belgrade, one of the favourites. Uh, I wouldn't say one of the favourites, but one of the stronger uh, clubs uh, at this stage of the draw. So I expect Red Star Belgrade to come through this one quite convincingly. 3-0 in the end, especially again on the away leg. I expect it could be even bigger on the flip side. Meanwhile, Arat Armenia from Armenia. Taking on AIK from Sweden. And again, uh, the, the, the Swedish team are, are a decent outfit and they should be um, taking care of business up against these Armenian teams. So I expect a victory for them. 2-1 in the end. Astania up against CFR Cluj. Now, this is a bit of a difficult one as well. Astania, uh, they are where are they from? They are from uh, Kazakhstan, but up against uh, CFR Cluj from Romania. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know much about Astania, but CFR Cluj have been in European competition quite regularly over the past few years, and I expect them to... to, to at least get something from this result. Get a, a, a you know an away goal, bring it back to Romania, and take care of business when the when the next leg comes around. Fenerbahce Varos uh, out in Hungary, up against Ludo uh, Ludogorets Razgrad out in Bulgaria. Another difficult one. This one two uh, familiar names for European football, but I do expect Fenerbahce Varos to take home a two one win uh, in the home leg to make it a you know an even sort of peg for the second leg. Partizani against Quadabag. Now I, I thought this was a different Partizani. Uh, this is one from Albania up against Quadabag who are out in Azerbaijan. Um, is that correct? Azerbaijan? 
Yes, woo, I don't know. Just my flag knowledge. I do expect Quarterback to get the victory 2-0 away from home against the Al Albanians. Next up, we have Slovan Bratislava up against Sudoškis Nisnovic. Uh, Slovan Bratislava coming out of uh, Slovakia there. Sudoškis Nisnovic is coming out of uh, of Ma uh, Montenegro. Uh, so these ones, I you know, it's, it's tough to call, but the, the Bratislava name and the brand for me does sound more familiar. So I'm going to side with that one with a 2-0 win. Uh, Sarajevo up against Celtic. Very difficult one to call this one. Obviously, Sarajevo from Bosnia. Celtic from out in Scotland. Difficult one to, to gauge this. Obviously, Celtic are a decent unit out in Scotland, but can they actually compete uh, on a European level with, with some of the decent now? I'd love to see them make it through to the group stages, but to be honest with you, I think this was going to be a difficult one. Uh, they should squeeze past it, perhaps 2-1 uh, victory in the end. We'll have to see. This is Neil Lennon, Celtic. Remember that Brendan Rodgers has now moved on to Leicester. Meanwhile, Sheriff Tiraspol out in Romania. They'll take on Sabutalo Tabilishli, uh, and that is out in Georgia. You should just watch this video for me butchering these names, man. It is horrific. Again, Sheriff Terrasball has been in the European competition quite consistently. I expect them to take care of business against the Georgian outfit. F91, Dudelange, uh, taking on Valletta out in Malta. Um, two nations, not really, they're, they're kind of more renowned as the whipping boys in international football. But Dudelange are, are a decent size, especially out in Luxembourg. Quite uh, impressed with them recently. So 2 0 win for there. Because they, they made it to the group stages of the Europa League last time out, I believe. Uh, and taking on AC Milan. And they gave him a bit of a run for the money, so I expect him to take care of a bit of business against Valenta. Uh, Linfield out in Northern Ireland, taking on Rosenberg as well, out in Norway. Another difficult one. It's tough for Linfield to get to get anything against one of the uh, uh, familiar, more familiar names in this draw here. 2-1 victory for me for Rosenberg. Uh, in the end, Valur from Iceland, taking on Marabor out in... Uh, where are they from? They must be... Uh, they're out in Slovenia. And again, it's a difficult one for the Icelanders to get something from Maribor, who, again, uh, have been uh, knocking on European competition for a few years, back to back to back now. So 3-1 victory for Maribor. In the end, Dundalk out in Ireland, taking on Riga from Latvia. Now, yeah, I've gone with the Irish boys on here. 2-1 win in the end. I think uh, uh, they'll get something from the home leg. They'll make it a little bit difficult in the away leg, but I'm hoping that Dundalk will get themselves through to the next qualifying phase. Meanwhile, the New Saints uh, take it from uh, Wales, take it on Ferenc. Kelly, uh, and I believe they are from, where are they from? Oh my goodness, they're from Kosovo. Um, that's right, so that's going to be a difficult one as well. Uh, but I'm going with a 2-0 win for the New Saints at home. Again, I could be well off the mark. Uh, the Farron Kelly had to go through the sneaky back door to get themselves this stage. Uh, they beat uh, they beat FC Santa Coloma. I think they were from Andorra. Um, and before that, they took on Lincoln Red Imps and they squeezed past the Gibraltar side um, in the in the semi-finals of the preliminary round. Uh, get towards the back end of this draw now. Hey JK from Finland taking on Hey B Torsvan from the Faroes. Big win for the finish. Uh, HJK 3-1 win in the end. And then right at the end, a very difficult one to call here. BAT Borisov up against Plast Gluwici out in uh, Poland. So two, again, reasonably difficult sides. Um, you'd expect them uh, to, to, to go, either the winner of this, to go a lot deeper into this competition. But for me, I've, I've made it a difficult one for uh, Plast Gluwici. I think BAT Borisov will get the home leg. And then that will wrap this baby up. Uh, and we'll do it all again, uh, probably around about the 11th, 12th of July. We'll take a look at the results and see how many predictions I got right. For the first legs. And while I still have you boys and girls. Why don't you stick your own predictions. Down in the comment section down below. What you think will happen. In the qualifying first legs. Meanwhile folks. Before we bounce out of here. Got a bit of an administration for you folks. Uh, into the month of September. I'll be doing live prediction shows. For the Premier League. And the Championship out in England. I'll be pre-recording the Bundesliga. La Liga. And Serie A. Once the Champions League gets to the group phases. I'm be doing live shows for that as well. Um, I've just got to figure all that out. Meanwhile if you want to become Patreons. Boys and girls. I am open to to Patreons, you can come through the door, sign up, and you can get access to six more leagues, uh, two more from England, you can get the top division out in Scotland, top division out in Portugal, top division out in uh, France, and the top division out in Holland, um, if you want to come Patreons, head over to my channel, uh, the, the platform over there, sign up, and then get involved that way, and again, uh, we've been going live over on Twitch this whole summer, um, and as the, the live shows out in the Americas come to a close. I'll be continuing it with the African Cup of Nations. And that will be um, into the early parts of July. Um, if you want the links to those platforms here, they come at you, folks. So scribble them down, head over there and get involved. But that, my friends, is all I've got for you, folks. Yes, it's, uh, you know, I thought I'd get in early. And talk about the Champions League. Uh, if this is something you enjoyed, make sure you smash the thumbs up. But if you also, make sure you smash the subscribe, boys and girls. I've got videos just like this 
all over the place this season. Uh, we've got lots to look forward to. We'll come back for the second legs. We'll also take a look at the Europa League as well. So, uh, yeah, lots to look forward to, lots to predict. See how many we can get right and see how many we can get wrong next week. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you all very soon. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>